Welcome back to this Rift Let's Play, Yoa Sambo, Seraphis, and joining us as always in his dark grey armour is Tallahassee. How are you this evening, my fine friend? I'm oh, alright, I'm just watching Scotty wander around in the background, I... thinking he needs to get his shit together. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I was just thinking the same thing, and folks, by the way, welcome to this week's Rift Let's Play episode. You know what, just before we started filming, we were about to start, and he walked into the shot! That's right, Scotty! Seriously, come on man, we're filming here! And of course we all know Tallahassee, Scotty is one of your favourite, favourite NPCs in the game, is he not? <laughs> he's not. He just needs to get his shit together. <laughs> he does. Oh, and of course he's an ongoing, recurring theme, folks. You know, wherever we are, there appears to be a Scotty. You can never get rid of the guy. Anyway, Tallahassee, a couple of little things before we get on questing with this episode. I noticed there was a massive, massive big patch before we logged in. As always, there's always something going on in Rift, folks. Every week there seems to be a huge patch. New content being added, uh, adjustments being made. And you know what? We've spotted quite a few. Tallahassee, I noticed when we were wandering around before, you noticed something just very small but interesting to do with targeting before. Yeah, so when, let's say, if you select me... All right, hang on. Here we go. Gotcha. gotcha. On the minimap, there's like a little floret around me. So I'll oh. go for a wander. Oh, look at him, folks. Oh, look at that. Yes, and that it's like is It's like the new. little floret that you get... When you've got someone targeted? Yes, if we have a look... So at, if you look down at my feet... Yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? Hang on. Can you... Do you mind if you run back towards that uh, fountain over there, or that ward stone or whatever? There we go. Now we've got it in clear view. Now I'm going to unselect Tallahassee. Oh, so when you're unselected, it's the normal... Yeah, radio. Right it's the normal icon. But when I have you select... Look at that! Now that is one of those small but useful things, wouldn't you agree, my friend? I mean, you know what it's like when you've got a bunch of people, especially if you're in a raid, or if you're trying. I presume, by the way, an enemy target's going to be going to be revamped as well. But that is really good because it makes it completely obvious as to which target you've got selected. There we go, on and off and on and off. There you go. Yeah, that is great. Never noticed that. Do you know what? It's funny. I reckon that works if you select NPCs as well. Oh, does it? Oh, look at that! And of course, they've got the green center rather than if you... Yeah, there we go. So the center stays the same. Um, yeah, okay. Very interesting. If we're now, not in a party, it does the same thing. Yeah, I, I guess so. it so. looks the same as an NPC. Right. Oh, okay. All right. Well, look, it's funny because I reckon there's a bunch of stuff that's been snuck in. It's like a bit of a stealth patch because the other thing I think, and, and you notice this too, by the way, Tallahassee, is that some of the icons have changed. Well, I think they have. Uh, some of the actual spell icons. You're saying you've noticed that as well? Yeah, I just noticed um, Break Free. I don't remember it looking like that. Yeah, same here. In fact, if you wonder what Tallahassee's talking about, if we go into our general tab here, you can see everyone's got this ability here. Remove all control and movement impairing effects, and it does not trigger a global cooldown. Oh, if only WoW had that in it, by the way. But anyway, uh, yeah, that is definitely a new symbol, if you ask me. And in fact, my Grace of the Forest racial passive, I think that's got a new symbol on it as well. No doubt, those of you with a keen eye for such detail watching from home will notice there's a few others as well. So that's another thing. But you know what? There's a couple of big things, Tallahassee, that have come into the patch. And when... Well, the first one I really noticed, if I hit N and bring up my soul tree, there's two major changes. Now, Tallahassee, you spotted one of the first changes uh, in here in the soul tree that you uh, showed me when you when we logged in here. Do you want to explain what that one is? Um, I'm looking at it, I think. Yeah, you got a sixth roll. Yeah! Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, for those viewers who are just joining, Tallahassee is the best man for explaining exactly what a roll is. So would you mind uh, doing us a favor and doing that just one more time for the road? Just for, We've got a lot of new viewers, I know that, in our uh, Rift Let's Play. So for their sake, what is a roll? Okay, so basically your rolls are your talent trees. Right. So they're your collection of talents. So you'll have... Um, your main role, okay, or your role, which will have your three trees, right, and same. then your collection of points into each tree. So a role 
I think people always seem to get confused with the hierarchy here. So a roll contains three trees, which I'm staring at right now in my open soul window, right? The roll has three trees. That's right. Okay, cool. So why six rolls? Okay, um, I'm guessing to give greater variety. I mean, that's really the only thing I can think of. I mean, I know I've got three. Ah, okay. I've got one DPS and then basically two tanking specs. Right. So so if someone so, was... Uh, I'm guessing they've got a reason for that. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because you think five would be enough. And by the way, folks, if you want to put it in WoW terms, I guess, um, would you agree with this, Tallahassee, that, like, for example, I have two roles in my, in my soul tree at the moment. Would we... It, you know, equate it to basically dual talents. So I've, I've literally got dual talents like you would have in WoW. Is that a good way of describing yeah, it? Yeah, except that's a good way to put it, but it's a little bit more than that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, all, we also all know that the WoW talent tree has become completely diluted anyhow, so there's no point comparing it beyond that anyway. But there you go. So I guess for folks who want to have more than five roles, you've now got six. Interesting. But So thank you for explaining that, because it is confusing to someone who hasn't played Rift before. But not only that, I noticed there's a new button in here. And for those of you who've been uh, catching up with the patch notes or reading up on the website, you'll know this is called Calling Purposes. And if we basically click on this new button, you can see... Now, I like this Tallahassee, by the way, especially for noobs like me. What it does, folks, is it's... Oh, let's say it's templates. So it's template builds for different types of uh, variations of your class. So, for example, I... Now, we're going to ask Tallahassee what his says in a second. But mine, I'm a, I'm a mage. So my archetype is a mage. And we all know that we've got all the different types of mages that I can be. We've got Warlock, we've got Archon, we've got uh, Chloromancer, etc., etc., it can be very confusing knowing which three of those souls to, to put together. And not only that, but which points to put where. And what they're about. How do you play that particular uh, combination? Well, here you can see the game now is giving me one, two, three. It's giving me four options that I can choose. And they're like cookie cutter pre-built builds, if you like, to get me on my way. So, for example, if I choose Pyramentalist here... You can see that it's telling me it's an offensive mage who utilizes powerful elemental pets and destructive fire magic to incinerate their enemies. And I can quickly read that and say, eh, that's kind of not what I'm after. What's this one here? What's the war wizard? So I read it and it says, well, it's an offensive mage with great mobility, capable of unleashing a hail of magic, destroying a large number of foes in a single volley. And I say to myself, hey, that's exactly the way I like playing my MMO. So I can keep reading and see that it's a uh, damage roll. And here it's telling me I need to choose Pyromancer, Stormcaller, and Elementalist. Not only that, it tells me how many points of each that I, I need to actually spend. And if I click on that, oh, no, maybe not. Oh, no. Actually, Tallahassee, I thought it actually brought up the tree and showed you, but I guess what you do is... No, it doesn't. Yeah, just, it just populates them for you, and you go in and have a look later once it's done, I guess. Is, That's is right. It? So okay. I'm guessing you click on select, and then it just populates it for you. Ah, but okay. the ones that I've got, I'm not very happy with. Oh, really? What, what sort of stuff is there? Um, I've got... Destroyer, which is an offensive warrior, which uses massive two-handed weapons to cleave through their foes. Yep. Dealing exceptional damage. But dual wielding for a while has actually put out more DPS than a two-hander. Right. Why would they choose that then? Maybe... I don't know. And then there's another one here that's for Pathfinder, and it talks about using a pet, but pets really aren't what you want. Well, that's very interesting. I guess... You know, at the end of the day, a build, and this is the great thing about Rift, folks, and we've talked about it time and time again throughout our episodes. Um, you know, Rift is so customizable that technically speaking, there's no right and wrong way of doing anything at the end of the day. It's all down to personal opinion. Uh, but I think there are still some staples, and Tallahassee's, you know, talking of them right now, and I must admit that does seem odd. Having said that, you know, the actual build aside, 
what at least it does do you can see here folks it gives you a little bit of reading and it says hey this is the basics of this particular build so it tells you about what armor it's wearing uh, the weapons all that sort of stuff what your main bonuses are your main stats it tells you how to play it so for example here we are looking at the pyromentalist and it says that pyromentalists rely on their pets etc etc also gives some tips and this is great again if you're a new player and especially now that remember levels 1 to 20 in this game are free so if you're watching this video and you're curious and you don't own Rift go get it because you're going to be able to play it you're going to be able to get in here to level 20 and do exactly what we're doing and check these out for yourself and if it's all too much uh, then you can use these builds here these templates so it goes through and gives you these tips and then one thing I do like Tallahassee whether or not the builds are you know agreeable with us the key abilities it actually shows you here what the top four or five abilities for this particular build are so you know again as a new player that uh, these are the ones you're going to focus on so um, Tallahassee if you take one of your builds and look at the key abilities are the abilities at least something that you would agree with they're, they're the fundamental ones or do you still not not quite agree with them either um no they are yeah. I mean, those you'd be, end up using those anyway right but yeah i mean they'd be in a macro like yeah I mean, one one that they've got here is they got one that's called dark fame right and it's 38 reaver 28 uh paladin zero champion i'd never use champion in a build right right not for a tanking role right well, you're better off going with warlord that way you get a few extra taunts and you also get spotters orders yeah, so very interesting. I wonder, you know what, I think a good place, and we'll close this off now, folks, because, of course, as you know, I now have my fantastic Pyromancer build, and that was uh, made for us by Dub a couple of weeks ago. Make sure you go watch that episode. And by the way, uh, Tallahassee, you may not know this either, but Dub has actually posted a link in the comments below that particular video, uh, which I think is called Dubstep Pyro that video there a couple of weeks ago the build is there if any of you guys actually can't see it on the youtube video here and you'd like to emulate that build uh, he's put a link to it there but anyway still like i said look at the end of the day Tallahassee, at least it's better than nothing i think if you're a, a brand new player to rift that is a, a great idea isn't it i mean at least it's a template to start with uh, rather than being all confused at the end of the day so there you go folks yeah it, i think it's i think it's a good step in the right direction yeah. But I think just having more information about the trees, so sorry, the individual souls, would be a better thing. Yeah. That way people can go ahead and make their own decisions about what they want. Yeah, which three souls they want in their particular role. And the other thing is I would like to be able to, it was a natural instinct of mine to go and click on the actual uh, you know, soul itself because I wanted to see what the build was. Uh, and not being able to do that is a bit weird, I think. But anyway. Now, there's one more thing, yeah. by the way, before we actually take off uh, Tallahassee. You're not going to get out of it that easily. You know what, folks? I mentioned this before we started filming, and I think he's going to say exactly the same. In fact, look at him. He's running away like a little girl. I, like, he's gone. He's gone, Ski. In fact, <laughs> there is no... Look at that. <laughs> He's complete. Come back. Hello. You're not coming back, are you? No, we've got things to do. <laughs> Let's go quest. All right. You know what? I'm actually going to let you off the hook. And by the way, quickly, here we go, folks. You can see we've got quests over here. We've got to kill Moonshade Spectres, collect Dwarven Artifacts. So we've got a number of things to do over to the west. And I see we've also got a rift there. Not sure whether Tallahassee wants to stop in there or not, or whether we're going to go past... But here's the thing, folks. There was one other functionality, one other feature added to the game in this patch. Now, I'm not going to say what it is, because what I'd like to do is I would like you guys to do some research. And you are going to get yourself a bunch of internet points if you can figure it out. Oh, and there's one other thing, too, that I no. want to show you guys before we start Look, filming. Uh, sorry I'm to happy to say what it is. I mean, it's... You've got in-game marriages now. All right, there you go. He said it. Let's but repeat that. I am not going to spill <laughs> Venner's wish. I'm sorry, Venner. He's not my type. <laughs> I'm going to repeat that just in case people didn't hear above the combat. 
as tele in fact, I'm going to step back. I'm sure Tallahassee is fine on his own just for now. Just so we can hear properly. In case you didn't hear that, Tallahassee is absolutely right. There are now in-game marriages in this game. I'll repeat that. You can get married in this game. Now, that's about all we know. We also know that you have to go to the top of some, some fountain or some waterfall somewhere. Neither of us, fortunately for Tallahassee, know where that is. So again, you guys, this is up to you. Can you please do some research for us? Number one, find out where we have to go in order to perform a, ce uh, a ceremony. Because apparently there's an exchanging of rings. Now, as he said, Venna. Venna, one of our longtime supporters, both here in Rift and on our live stream as well, has suggested that Tallahassee and Seraphis get married. Now, I think that would be an absolute hoot. And of course, you guys know exactly what Tallahassee would think about that. Right? He's going to poo-poo that till the cows come home. There's no doubt about it. So you have a job to do. Commenters and viewers, in the comments below, firstly, point us in the right direction. We're not going to go anywhere until you've found out where it is we need to go. And second of all, put up a compelling argument to convince Tallahassee that we need to get married. There you go. That is your task, viewers, for this week. Now, there's one more thing. Tallahassee, when we first logged in uh, today to start filming, you noticed something about me and we've just only now figured out what it is. Would you like to remind our viewers exactly what that was that you noticed about me when I logged in today? Yes, yeah, Sambo is Edward Cohen. Oh, <laughs> what? what? I was not Edward Cullen. That's the biggest insult ever, you horrible, horrible man. I'm sorry. You were sparkling. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he is actually right, folks. I was sparkling. And it's funny, you know, we were trying to figure out what on earth was making me sparkle, and we discovered it. So, hang on, before I fight any more, guys, take a look at my hands now. There you go. You can see my hands. Now watch as I apply fire armor. Are you ready for this? Ta-da! Oh my god, Tallahassee, we're Just in hands. twilight. We are, I, I, my hands are sparkling. So we, now we have to get married. You know, now that we're in twilight, right? I mean, that's what people do in twilight, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I just isn't happen it? to, I happen to know how much Tallahassee loathes anything to do with twilight. So this will be giving him the you absolute know, I hate everything in general. Oh, well, that's true. That's true. But you hate Twilight more than you hate general things. Let's let's face it, you know. I hate you more than I hate Twilight. Oh, okay. Whoops, there you go. You're, of course, I'm at the top of the heap. But look at that, folks. I am, yes, Edward Cullen. Thank you very much for that. So apparently in Diablo 2, I'm Delilah. And here I am now, Edward Cullen. Tallahassee, I hate you so much right now. But anyway, there you so go. Now, you're really strong female characters then in yeah, every game that we play. Yeah, thanks very much for that. Thanks a lot. Well fleshed out characters. <laughs> you are such an ass, seriously. Uh, what we have discovered, folks, is that it is a bug. It is a fire armor bug. This here, this ability here, fire armor. And there's no ETA for when it's going to be fixed. So if you too are playing what? Rift... Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Is it a bug? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, apparently. Why, do you want it to be permanent? You wouldn't wish that on me, would you? I think it's hilarious. <laughs> well, it's hilarious because it's not happening to you. You know, you're not running around sparkling. Yeah, that's, that's why it's hilarious. Oh, you're so horrible to me. Jeez. Nasty man. Oh, yes, I'll have that mana pop. Thanks very much. Now, as always, folks, as you know, I'm in my new pyro build here, and I'm dressed up in my guardian armor, of course, just to just to mix things up a bit. And, of course, this is only a costume. It's just appearance. It's not actually gear. My real gear is underneath, and it's just so that I can match with Tallahassee and feel like I'm part of the team, which is good. Now, if we have a look at our quest counts, by the way, you can see we are collecting dwarven artifacts. We've got... What have we got? Three out of six. And I think we've already killed the required amount of these guys around here, the pillagers or whatever. Although, I must admit, I'm. what are you up yeah, to with did. your artifacts, by the way? I've just got four now. 
Okay, so yeah, they're one of those things that are done separately. Uh, one doesn't count for the other. Oh, I just blinked. I accidentally blinked. I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. Whoa, that, that ability then just did 1,320 damage in one hit. My lord. Do you know what the Pick problem... Pick up your artifact. Yep, do you know what the problem is? Thank you for that, by the way. The problem with this... This sparkly hands is... Is that it looks like everything has got loot. Because it... Because of the way my character's positioned, everything looks like it's got something to pick up. Damn it. Anyway. It's a hard knock life for Sambo. It's a hard knock life. I know. First world glowy, sparkly hand problems, eh? All right, now, how would you like to do a bit of rounding up like you did uh, last week? Because that was fun. It, that, well, that's if you're in your tank spec, of course. And let's do some serious AoEing so I can, you know, pump out the fire. Pump up the jam. Uh, well, the fire. What do you reckon? I don't know if I'm going to be able to with these guys. Oh, why well, are they a bit, a bit high? No, it's not that they're a bit high. It's just, I don't think they are... Oh, melee. I'm sure what I can oh, try. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right. All right, well, let's give it a go. That'll do if you like. Oh, my God, he's pulled half the camp. All right, here we come with the AoE. Oh, yes, nice big... Look at all those numbers streaming up there, folks. That is super fun, and they're all dead. Whoa. Okay, I mean, admittedly, you did get down to 35% health, and I'm sorry for that. But... Check me, you can kill this one as well. Yep. But it was worth it! Because it was so much fun. Oh, that's awesome. Now, you might notice, folks, that I have actually got rid of my DPS counter just for the moment. And it's because I'm in between counters. And that doesn't mean I'm going to change. It just means that I'm updating to a more recent version. Oh, damn it, did that interrupt your your drink? Yes, it did. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for that. Sorry about that. Wasted a drink. I'll have one, too. All right, I'll go grab that artifact. All right, I'm now five of six. Just one more, pretty please. Now, does that interrupt? Is that because you went into combat, or because the guy actually came over and gave you a smack on the on the face? I think he gave me a smack. Oh, okay. So if I'd run off, it would have been all right. All right, let's buff these guys up, or rather debuff them with my awesome, awesome fiery things. Hang on, don't cast yet, because I'm going to pull him back to here. Okay. And here we go. Boom, boom, boom. That's right. Righteous fire as I purge the lands of evil. Because I am... Well, okay. I'll stop right there. Whoa. Alright, I keep, you know what, I keep hitting blink instead, instead of one of my abilities because it's got a very, very similar, similar icon. Oh, Are you now making I'm, more friends? Yeah, now I've got them all excited. It's alright. Thank you. There we go. All right, I am still five to six for these artifacts. There we go. With my glowing hands. My glowing hands of doom. There's an artifact. All right, let's clean up these guys. That's right. You should scream in your... Oh, what happened to my AOE? It was weird, it stopped. Oh, that's a nice one. Do you want me to pass on that? The blue? No, it's, it's intelligence and wisdom. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, here we go. The last uh, one. We'll greed on it. We shall greed. There we are. All done. Now, I've just noticed we've still got a few minutes left. Did you want to... 
Have a look who's down here. Oh my lord! What the? How? How did he Bad. get down here? He's miles away Jesus from home. Jesus Christ, Scotty! Scotty, you are an idiot. Scotty needs to get his shit together. Yeah, but how, how did he get over here? He, we left him in the in the village. I don't get it. I don't know. That's the weirdest thing ever. Scotty, you're a constant disappointment to you, everyone you've ever met. <laughs> harsh, folks. Harsh, harsh, harsh. Oh, can't it see the truth. Hey, come back here. All right, there we go. So I just now, need one more artifact. Oh, so you still need one? Oh, sorry, I thought we were done. My bad. Mm. It's all right. All right, so if you're greedy, well, I this was is gonna... why that relationship would never work. Yeah, <laughs> come on, guys, don't you forget, convince him. Um, now, I was going to say that we maybe head up to get this, or well, maybe we still have. Yeah, we might have time just enough. I see we've got a quest, once you've got your artifact, my friend, to kill Stonehorn. We might as well go, you know, up the west side of the lake and go straight up north, kill him uh, before the end of the episode. What do you say? You up for that? Killing a nice named mob? We can try. Why not? Why not? In fact, I wouldn't mind testing out... I'm coming. Testing out my new abilities on... On a mob that actually takes a little bit more to kill. Yeah, because the level 36 mob is going to take a lot to kill. Ah, well, I thought it might be, you know, slightly harder. Maybe an elite, something like that. No? No, I don't think he is. Ah. Have you found your artifacts yet? Yep. There's one here. Oh, good. Yes, ouch is right. Now, how come they're grey when they're on the ground? Is that something new, or does that mean something? No, because that mob was dead. Yeah, but have they always done that? Oh, I see, they're grey anyway. Yeah. Nah, never mind. My bad, my bad. Just keep running. Yep, no problemo. I shall. You and your friends... I swear to swear to the gods. That's right. Wow, they've actually taken a bit of a chunk off you, haven't they? Yep, mount up again. Alrighty. <clears throat> and yes, folks, we are in the middle of a rift. We're just running through this rift. <laughs> Alright. We're running through, we're not we're not staying for dinner or anything like that. Alright, yes, excuse us, rift. So yes, what we are doing, folks, is we're going to head probably around this lake. Should we go north from here? Rather, should we go up to the guy before we hand in, maybe? Uh, and we, we're trying yeah. to find... Yeah, we're trying to find up north here. Where is it? Uh, there we go. The stone horn is... I'm not sure what it is. Stonehorn's herd, it says. And we've got to do something. What do we have to do? Collect ram's brains. Ten of those, that sounds great. Uh, and we have to kill Stonehorn. I'm guessing Stonehorn is like some kind of leader ram creature or something. You would be correct, sir. Alright, and by the way, I've picked up a friend. Oh no, he's gone now, there we go. It was a shambler. I don't think I've seen one of those before. You never have. You've never had friends. <laughs> I have internet friends, thank you very much, and they're just as real in my head. That that's all that matters. Is is it called? Are they called Thrall? Is one of them Thrall? Yeah, and Jaina, and uh, Ken, <laughs> etc. And that one, and that Thrall's wife, whatever the hell her name is. Oh, Agra, Agra. I don't know, man. I don't pay attention to any of that. Ah. Just um, bring your friends. Yeah, I've got quite a few friends now. Oh, so have you, by by the looks of things. Ah, oh, look at that. Tallahassee has successfully taunted him off. Thank you very much. 
time for the cleansing fire! Yeah, that's right. That's what you get. Alright, I'm just going to have to have a bit of a drink before we carry on. Alright, so... I had hardly any help. Yeah. Alright, so corrupted ram, stone horn... There they are. That's the ones that we want up there. I'm guessing. And mm -hmm. somewhere around here will be the man himself. Now, by the way, while I've got that selected... Yes, look at that. We've got a bright red icon now on the mini-map. So that has definitely changed. And I do definitely think that's a change for the better. That, that certainly declutters the old mini-map, makes things a little bit better. Oh, there's some big numbers pouring up there. That was... That was nice. I am so loving this build. Seriously. Absolutely love it. Alright, let's get these what I like to call pre-attack buffs up. I've got a new one here. Fireball, by the way. And another one called Flame Jet as well, which is an area effect damage. There we go. And that's different from this one, the Withering Flames. And I got myself a Fireball as well, which is this one here. One called Cinder Burst, which I actually didn't have on my... Didn't have on my hotbar for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's new. Maybe I missed it. I need another drink. And so do you. Yep. So do I. Well, someone took forever to actually, you know, do damage. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was checking out the different skills. Hey, do you know what? I've just noticed something. This drink that I'm having, I'm going to link it in to party chat right now. And I'm going to spell it out. Hey, why won't that go in? Why can't I link it? I just keep drinking. <laughs> the hell? Because you have to go into your Oh, bag you have to go into the bag. Alright, alright. Funny, funny. Anyway, I'm going to... There we go. I'm going to spell that out. It's called F-A-U-S-T-E-R-S. -E now, Tallahassee will know the answer to this because he's Australian like I am. But for another 10 internet points, folks, I want you to know and... just I'm not there, Australian. No, it's not Australian. Actually, you're not Australian, eh? Well, you live in Australia. There we go. There you go, folks. Can you see that on the screen? F-A-U-X-S-T-E-R-S. For 10 internet points, I would like you to tell me what that is a reference to. And again, your clue is Australia. There you go. See if you know your, well, your beverages anyway. Because that's quite a, a nice little subtle, subtle reference, that one. There we go. 10 out of 10 brains. Now what do we have to do? We have to find, oh, wait a minute. Have we killed, what's his name? Did we do that? When did we yeah. do that? I didn't even see that. Um, when we had that big bunch of them over here. Oh, lordy. All right. And he's so, up here again now, but he's dead. Where is... Oh, yeah, that's there him is. there. There's Hall. Oh, okay. All right. How's that? So, what, unfortunately, wasn't a big epic fight after all. Bugger. Never mind. All right, so I think we've just got time to... Well, actually, we can hand in... Rather than going all the way to the village, I see there's a hand in just to the south of us. Um, I'm guessing, is that someone someone standing on the side of the road or something, is it? I'm not sure. It is. She is standing on the side of the road. There we go. Let's hand that one in and then wrap this up. And of course, next week, folks, we can hand in the rest of these quests uh, back, back here at the Three Springs. Here we go. Emmy Wickerwind, hello. Thank you for bringing me these ram's brains and for ridding us of Stonehorn. You're very welcome. It was an epic fight, Emmy. Seriously, whew, we nearly died. Uh, anyway, I'll need to take these samples back to Sanctum and study them. You nearly did DPS. I nearly... Oh, sh Will you... Oh, God. Seriously. Uh, will you, can we take these back to a brother, Jabaya, who will be interested in the finding? Well, yes, we can, as long as you give us... There we go. Some gold and some XP. That's always what we're after. All right, so I think it's definitely time to wrap this one up. There we go, folks. So just recapping 
Once again, I have sparkling hands in my name now as apparently Edward Cullen. Number two, don't forget if you're playing, hop in here into your soul tree. And if you've already got five of these um, builds here, you can now have a sixth. And they're called rolls, of course, in the game. So don't forget about that. And, of course, if you're new to the game, don't forget to click on this button here, which is labeled Calling Purpose. As it starts to rain in the background there, I see. And you can find out some, uh, you know, pre-built trees, if you like. Some pre-built builds if you're new to the game and they should help you somewhat and of course most importantly folks don't forget that you've got to try and tell us whereabouts we need to go to view where it is that you get married and more importantly try and convince Tallahassee that Seraphis here is Tallahassee's one and only true love after 37 levels of leveling that he's secretly fallen in love and he can't bring himself to tell her or you can make up some kind of story well, you know what, because I know the other thing that you absolutely love, Tallahassee. I know, aside from Twilight and George Lucas, folks, there is one other thing that Tallahassee loves with a passion, and that is role players. So, folks, if you really want to rub salt in his wound, and I highly suggest you do, then, you know, in your compelling reason as to why these two... people write fan fiction? What, yeah, why they should get married then give us a brief paragraph of role playing goodness not... go on make up that okay. story I, if there is fan fiction in this I am out I am not doing the let's play anymore <laughs> there you go folks that's how serious he is so just because you put one in the comments of course doesn't mean that we have to bring it in to uh, the let's play series and lose our good mate but, oh, he might find a compelling reason there. If you can come up with a great backstory, then by all means, go for it. Go on, folks. See see if you can tickle his fancy. Anyhow, on that note, before he runs away screaming, we do have to get out of here. We're well over time. On behalf of myself and, of course, the uh, very charming, I might say, mm -hmm, Tallahassee, um, it's us saying take care. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day wherever in the world you are. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We shall see you then, and bye-bye. <laughs>